in this video we will learn about angular material toolbar uh, here we are using the same bookstore application and it is running on the browser here we are having toolbar we have created this toolbar by using bootstrap in one of the previous video we have used the bootstrap and we have created this toolbar at the time now i want to create a toolbar by using angular material for that go to angular material website here click this components tab left side here we have list of all the components that are available um, in the angular material here we have toolbar so click this component in the toolbar we have overview if i want to use this mat toolbar then i have to use this mat toolbar tag it is a container for headers titles or actions um, scroll down here we have some examples if you want to create a toolbar with single row then you can use this code for multiple rows we can create this toolbar there are uh, some more toolbars are available here if you want to use anything from angular material then you need to import corresponding modules you can see the details of this corresponding modules in this api tab if i want to use the toolbar then i have to import mat toolbar module uh, from angular material all the informations about the toolbar is written inside this mat toolbar module all the configurations that are required for this angular material toolbar those are listed here if you want to make any change in the row then you can use this here we have selector and exported as we can also provide the color and we have default color property also now click this examples here we have uh, toolbar examples in angular material let's see how we can use this toolbar in our application let's see about uh, these three things first one is the link so copy this link or if you want to share this link with other um, you can share it now open the new tab paste it you can keep this uh, for your future reference also if you want to see the code of this particular toolbar then you can click this view code here here we have three tabs html uh, first we have html this is the code for html you can copy this code from here or select the code which you want from here then we have ts file um, this is a typescript file um, that you have created for component if you want to make some design in toolbar uh, then you have to write some css here we have css details now uh, let's use the toolbar in our application so click this overview first uh, we will use this uh, basic one it has name only so click this code here this is the code for uh, basic toolbar so copy this code and go to vs code editor expand this app folder and let's open this app component.html file here this is the code uh, that we have written for current header so after this due paste the code which we copied from a browser here we have p tag then mat toolbar inside this we have span and my application text okay now go back to save the changes go back to the browser here click this api and copy this import line and go back to vs code editor here let's open this app module file paste it and let's use this module in imports array so put a comma here and paste it save the changes let's see in the browser see here uh, we are having this toolbar here now 
there is no need to use this bootstrap toolbar so we can remove it so go back to vs code editor in the app.component.html file we can remove this code or just comment it and save the changes let's see in the browser see here we have only angular material toolbar now right click choose inspect see in the mobile view also um, it is working fine there is no scroll bar here okay. so now we have the angular material toolbar now um, let's use some more inputs uh, for this angular material toolbar so here we have the input color so copy this and let's use primary and save the changes see here this time we are having a primary color of this angular material toolbar this is how we can use a basic toolbar in angular material now let's try to use some complex toolbar so here click this examples now i want to use this one click here I want to use the third toolbar so this is first so copy this code from here go back to vs code editor and paste it on below this p tag see here we are getting an mat icon error because this new toolbar using some buttons uh, those are mat icons so this is also separate module in angular material so go go back to the browser in the component search for icon click this api okay to use this icon um i have to use mat icon so click this api so copy this import line and paste it in the app module file and let's use this module in imports array like this and save the changes see here the error is gone now we don't have any error let's see in the browser see here we are getting this new toolbar you can see here the design is not appropriate button design also something different uh, for that go back to the angular material website here go back to toolbar here click this examples and click this code and click this css here we are having this particular css so copy this go back to vs code editor let's open this app component.acss file paste it here and save the changes now you can see here the position of this button is placed properly but uh, the design of this button is still different this is because we have already used bootstrap in our application there is some clash in between bootstrap and angular material let's see how can we fix it uh, for that go back to vs code editor um, let's open this angular.json file here in the styles we have included a bootstrap file so let's remove it remove this comma also and save this file let's open this um, index.html file 
here already we have com commented this bootstrap link so close it okay now let's stop the execution in the terminal window let's run this application again because uh, we made the changes in angular.json file that is why we are running this uh, application again now let's see in the browser see here uh, the design of this button is looking good we can also place some buttons or links in the toolbar by using angular material so here we have so many components click this button here uh, we have more buttons with uh, many designs and uh, links also uh, for learning purpose let's use one button so click the code here and here in the HTML for learning purpose I will use this code copy this and go back to VS code editor and paste it here save the changes now click this API and copy this import paste it in the app module file let's add this module in imports array like this and save the changes let's see in the browser see here we are having this uh, button in the toolbar now let's use few more button design now i want to use this raised button so click this code here Now I want to use this primary, copy this and go back to VS Code Editor and paste it here. Save the changes. Let's see in the browser. See here, we have primary button. We are using primary color in, in toolbar also. We are using the same color that is why we are having both of them uh, in blue color let's change it here remove this color primary and save the changes now you can see the design of this uh, button so little different uh, this is the basic button this one is raised button this is how we can create an angular material toolbar in angular application i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this